Hi everyone, I'm Simone, technical partner and reviewer for Kiloview. Today we are going to looking at the S2 encoder. This is the flagship 4K HDMI encoder from Kiloview. Now let's jump into the review, let's see the feature and the web UI. As you can see, the encoder itself is really packed into a small ragged aluminum alloy case. What we can find inside? We will find an HDMI input up to 4K 50 or 60p, an HDMI loop output with 3.5mm headset jack, a gigabit LAN with PoE, 12V DC inputs, USB type A and a tally light. Of course, this encoder can support multiple streaming formats and the IHX, SRT, RTMP, RTSP, HLS and TSUDP. Now let's see what is in the web UI. Ok, to enter the web UI of the encoder, we type the local IP address of the machine. Basically, the local link address of Kiloview machines are always the same and it is 192.168.1.168. The default username and password is admin admin, no capital letters. Alright, this is the main web UI. As you can see, up front we have a preview monitor, the video source, the audio source, the CPU and memory uh, utilization of the uh, hardware encoder, and then the stream service downside here. We have lots of tools we can use, like the safe area, the center cross, the view meters, uh, the PTZ control if we have a PTZ camera enabled, and some sort of uh, flip mirror color adjustment and cropping. Um, we have the mainstream and the substream. Actually, this encoder is able to both use H.264 and H.265 simultaneously. It can also work up to 4K as I mentioned before, uh, have multiple channels, you have two now configured but you can add more if you want to and actually this is almost what you see in the first page, therefore you can record onto a NAS or onto a USB stick drive and in the setting you will find everything that regards the network, the user management, uh, the recording management, the zone and timing, and the PTZ uh, settings uh, for various PTZ camera, the OnVIF service and the system settings. Let's try to do some streaming with it. Uh, currently we are using the NDIHX is enabled and I configure two uh, more streams, uh, one for Facebook and one for YouTube. Just remember when you type your URL uh, that you have to type the full URL, then slash and the stream key. It works for every other provider actually, yeah. And uh, yeah, there it is. As you can see, I'm now streaming on Facebook and I'm actually streaming even on to YouTube. Then now we maybe can uh, start an SRT stream uh, to configure one SRT stream, you just have add streaming service, uh, put SRT, today I'm gonna use a uh, listener mode and uh, give it a name for it, press OK and just press on. You can copy and paste super easy with this tool and now we have VLC here, we can Ctrl V and play it. We can also, of course, uh, for example, add uh, um, RTSP, for example, yeah. Give it a name. And here we go, the same. You can copy, open VLC, Ctrl V, and uh, we got it. Super, super simple. Of course, we can also have NDI, HX, and, and catch the NDI stream, let you see in the studio monitor in a second. Uh, I'm now taking the S2, and we still have the NDI HX signal over NDI, so over the local area network. So I hope you like this video, stay tuned for more new reviews, 
you can always reach us at www.kiloview.com or send us an email at info at kiloview.com. Bye.